Have you ever wanted to find cool indie games on the internet but don't know how to find one? Well apparently you can find them on Twitter, now called X for some reason, if you like enough indie games tweets and interacting with them. I was doing this for a month and found some cool and interesting indie games that I think deserve more attention. So I made this video. Here is 12 interesting upcoming indie games I randomly found in Twitter that worth your attention. Let's talk about it. The first one is a game called Little Lands. It's a casual action adventure game with diorama aesthetic. You know, those beautiful miniature. I found this game a few years ago and it left a really good first impression for me. I mean, just look at this game. It looks so beautifully crafted. The villagers in this game has this keeperish language, similar as Animal Crossing, and I assume that the game will have the same vibe as The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, based on the similar aesthetic and some of the gameplay footage. You can follow the development of Little Lands from the developer's Twitter, Rafael Martin at Hypermegapixel. The demo of Little Lands is also coming soon. The next game is called Vikil Monster by Glass Revolver. Again, I found this game years ago and it's still breathtaking whenever I see it again. The aesthetic of the game reminded me a bit of The Last Guardian and I cannot wait to try the game. We Kill Monsters is a solo or co-op adventure set in a mysterious massive pit. You're playing as a homunculi, a small human with a massive stylish backpack, and your main goal is to hunt the angel. Apparently, now the developer is working with Annapurna Interactive, the publisher behind indie games that you keep thinking from time to time. Games like Stray, Journey, and 12 Minutes. So I'm pretty excited with V Kill Monster. At least now we know that the game will eventually get released thanks to Annapurna Interactive. There is no information of release date yet, so I assume it will be a long wait until V Kill Monster is available to buy. But you can follow the development on their Twitter at class underscore underscore revolver. Next game is Bloomtown A Different Story. Bloomtown is a narrative JRPG mixing turn-based combat monster timing and social RPG set in a seemingly pleasant 1960s Americana world. This sounds really interesting, right? Also look at the pixel art, it's beautiful. Somehow there is also a buff Corky as your party member. This game is made by Different Sense Games and Lazy Bear Games, the developer behind Punch Club a really fun time management game to become the best boxer in the world, and Graveyard Keeper. Imagine a game that looks like Stardew Valley but you are managing a medieval graveyard instead of a farm. Back to Bloomtown, with the background of the developer, I'm really excited for Bloomtown 2. You're going to play as a kid named Emily, and you will be looking for the missing children of the town. I assume this game will be a combination of Stranger Things setting, with JRPG influence from Persona and Mother games. Cannot wait to play it myself. Bloomtown is planned to release this year, so hopefully it will be a short wait. You can wishlist Bloomtown a different story on Steam if you're interested in this game. The next game is Europa. From a quick glance, the art style of Europa reminded me of Studio Ghibli anime, especially the Nino Kuni games. And from what I see, the gameplay would be similar with Journey, where you need to do puzzles, gliding, and flying around, and uncovering the mystery of the world. Europa is a peaceful game of adventure, exploration, and meditation. The demo is available for free now and the game will be released in next month. You can wishlist the game on Steam if you are interested in Europa. Next game is called Screenbound. This is probably one of the most unique game on this video. Just like the name, Screenbound is a game about being distracted by the retro console screen on your hand. It's a really unique platformer game where you are both controlling the character in 2D and 3D world at the same time. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of platformer games, but Screenbound really caught my attention. Such a clever idea and seems ambitious, and I hope the 
the developer can deliver. Screenbound is currently on an active development and seems like still in early development, made by at least three indie developers. I can see that indie games publishers will be very interested in this game, and if it does, hopefully the team will get enough funding to realize their vision. You can follow the development of Screenbound on their Twitter. Next game is Apartment Story, another game that is still in development. It's a low poly game about three people, one apartment, and a gun. You play as Arthur, a pro video game journalist who need to survive by juggling with life necessities, stress, and how to earn more money. I kinda able to relate with the premise and I'm looking forward to see what is this game about. The whole thing reminded me a bit of a game called 12 minutes, but maybe a less supernatural and more grounded and realistic approach. From what I know, Apartment Story is developed by a single person, so please check their Twitter if you're interested with the game. I also love the La Poly aesthetic. This kind of aesthetic, something like PlayStation 1 art style, is my second favorite aesthetic after pixel art, and I hope it's more popular. Apartment Story is planned to be released this year, so we will see soon. You can follow at underscore Apartment Story on Twitter to see the development. Talking about PlayStation 1 aesthetic, the next game is not really a low poly game but heavily inspired by the survival horror classics like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. This game is called Echoes of the Living. Remember those survival horror games on PlayStation 1 where the camera is fixed and made it look unique? Well, Echoes of the Living is basically aiming to be the modern version of that, developed by a couple of developers since 2016. As you can see, the game looks amazing, and as someone who never played the classic survival horror games, I'm looking forward to play Echoes of the Living. The game is planned to release this year too. So many cool indie games coming this year, I cannot wait to try them all. We still the game on Steam if you are interested in Echoes of the living. The next game is Detective Fantasia Excali Murder. Maybe you noticed the wordplay from the title already. It's about the mythical sword of King Arthur, Excalibur, and a murder. As you can see, the game is inspired by the Game Boy game's aesthetic, and it looks amazing for me. I see that more modern games trying stuff with a retro aesthetic, and I'm really down for it. Detective Fantasia Excali Murder is a top down fantasy detective sim about a murder near are the Excalibur sword, in which you investigate with complete freedom by walking around, inspecting the world, and pointing out inconsistencies. It seems like the game is still in the early stage of development, so maybe it will take a while until the game release. You can follow the developer at Dead Fantasia on Twitter to see the development. Talking about more upcoming indie games in early development stages, Memora Wanderer is also similar in that regard. Memora Wanderer is a cute nostalgic RPG made by a solo developer with Ragnarok Online aesthetic. You know, that nostalgic old Korean MMO. So far, we only know that Memora Wanderer is a single player RPG with UI and system inspired by Ragnarok Online, from the combat, inventory management, and the whole aesthetic with 2D character sprites and the 3D world. But it looks really interesting. Follow the developer at Maytecha <laughs> on Twitter if you are interested in the game. The next game is called Little Sim World. It's an indie live sim game, like The Sims, but in 2D. The game is actively being developed since 2019, inspired by The Sims, Animal Crossing, and Stardew Valley. From what I see, Little Sim World seems like if The Sims and Stardew Valley have a baby. Instead of just farming, you can get jobs and also need to take care of your daily needs. The game is planned to release at the end of this year, so if you are looking for an ambitious indie live sim game, you can wishlist Little Sim World on Steam. The next game is called Some When, another pixel art RPG game in early development. <laughs> there is a pattern here, but yes, 
I love pixel art and RPG. Someone is a time traveling town builder RPG inspired by Dark Cloud and Chrono Trigger, based on the description by the developer. In this game, when you build in the present time, you directly affect the timeline. Travel back and forth through time by train and prevent an awful future by taking world restoration into your own hands. There is currently no information about the release date, but follow at Sandil Sark on Twitter if you're interested in someone. The last game is called Crow Country. I asked on Twitter if someone can recommend me a game that people found on the platform, and two people mentioned this game. Crow Country is another survival horror game with PlayStation 1 aesthetic, just like Echoes of the Living that I mentioned before. Quoted from the Steam page, the year is 1990. It's been two years since the mysterious disappearance of Edward Crow and the abrupt closure of his theme park, Crow Country, but your arrival has broken the silence. Crow Country is a survival horror game where you will test yourself against puzzles and riddles as you investigate the eerie tranquility of the abandoned theme park. There is a demo available for free on Steam, and the game will be released very soon, on 9 May 2024. Check it out on Steam if you're interested. So that's 12 upcoming indie games I found on Twitter that worth your attention. Is there is any game in this list that interests you? Or maybe you have a recommendation that is not on this list? Share with us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And here's my other videos that you might also like. Thanks for watching and see you next time.